Making collections in Get Epic is a great way to share content based on what you guys are learning in class and also a really cool way to differentiate your material and send books that are based on student interests. Stay tuned while I'll show you a few easy steps to make those awesome collections. logged into my teacher account and I'm in the dashboard side of my account. What I really love about Epic is that the teacher view has some extra things obviously that the kids don't have, but the student view is very similar to what they would see. I'm going to go up to search and the topic I want to create a collection about is penguins. I'm going to type in penguin and then press enter. When I search up any topic, it automatically defaults to all of the things that the results popped up. So this is everything about penguins that I can search from. I can get more specific. I can do books, videos that are not connected to YouTube, read to me books where it will highlight the words as it goes, audiobooks where it does not turn the pages, but you can just hear the text. And then these are collections already made. For today's purposes, I'm going to be making a collection for research about penguins. I want to be even more specific in my search. So right here, above all of these different types of books, I can have a more advanced search. I can search by reader's age, Lexile, if my school follows that, or AR, also just by reader age and fiction and nonfiction. Today I'm going to search for AR level and I'm going to make a collection for my students who need a little bit more support with their research. So having the read to me option will be very helpful for them. And like I just said, it's research, so I really don't want fiction. I'm going to click nonfiction. As you can see, as I'm clicking the different options, my searches were popping up below. Um, I'm going to keep right now the all, what it all can offer me. So I would love to add this Penguin Chicks book to my collection. It will automatically start playing. What I also love about audiobooks is, yes, it will play and highlight the words, but if students are feeling confident and comfortable with reading on their own, they can always hit pause and read it on their own. I'm going to add this penguin chick to my collection. So if you bring your cursor up towards the top, the blue bar will pop up and you click these two squares with the plus sign. If you have any collections already created, you can see all of those right here. I do have a penguin collection that I already started. Um, however, if you see these little stars, this is a trick that I use for differentiating and sending collections to my students. I will name them all the same name. So all my students in my class are going to get the collection penguin. However, they're going to have a different amount of stars for my own keeping track of which collection is going where. For me, I would do one star for students who need more support, two stars for students at grade level, and three stars for students who need some extensions. I already have a collection going for students at grade level, but the book I picked, I want to create a new collection for students who need more support. So I'm going to click create a new collection. I'm going to add one star in front, and then I'm also going to name it Penguin. So when I'm giving directions, it will make it a lot easier since everybody has the same named collection, just the stars are different. And then I can write what it's about. I know it's about penguins. And then if I want to, I can share with the Epic community so other teachers can use it. I'm just going to click that off for now and then click create. So I just added this book to the collection. It will ha send up a little notification. If you're not sure if you did, if you click those squares and the plus sign again, it already tells me I added this book to Penguin. I can add it to multiple collections if I would like to. So I'm going to exit out of there. If you put your cursor towards the top and at the blue bar, click X, which is the same steps for students. Now to assign the collections that I have created, I'm going to click my dashboard at the top. And then I'm going to scroll down where it says assign reading and go to activities. Again, if it doesn't already default, click Assignments and Collections. These are all the collections that I have created or made copies of. 
And then I want to assign my collection to students. So I'm going to click the blue words that say assign and view progress. What's really great is since I am creating a differentiated collection, I can select specific students I want to send this collection to. So when I click assign, it will only send it to those three students that I clicked. Or if I wanted to, I could send it to everybody. So there you have it, creating and assigning collections to your students and how to keep track if you are differentiating them.